I'm Mark Spain. And I'm Paige Kelton. And so are we. We're here to tell you about the Action News Advantage. It's one news team. With the power of two networks. Fox 30 Action News at 10 gives you the convenience advantage. More news an hour earlier. CBS 47 Action News at 11 gives you the advantage of an all new newscast. And both have my forecast. Jacksonville's most accurate. Now that's an advantage. Action News on Fox 30 and CBS 47. Two separate newscasts to fit your life. St. John's, come in. St. John's, come in. St. John's from engine 16, can you raise command for me? Over to command. I really enjoy your morning news show. It's different than any other news. Upbeat, friendly, and professional. But your advertising of bars, bars, and Lopez makes them sound like a law firm. Why not Tara, Mike, and Don? It's a lot more friendly and personal. Okay, how's this? Tara, Mike, and Don, your cure for the common morning newscast. Weekday mornings on Fox 30. So, there you go. Friendly and personal. I love it. I think it's great. It's good. Go with it. I told you it sounded like a law firm to begin with, and you didn't want to listen to me. Uh, you guys know everything. Oh, all right. How many more of these do we have left to do? As many as it takes. Remember, friendly and personal. It looks good, but it's missing something. Speaking of missing, where's Mike? Don't worry, I'll take care of him. Tara, Mike, and Dawn, your cure for the common morning newscast. Weekday mornings on Fox 30. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. What's going on? Where's Tara? Haha, <laughs> very funny. He loved his country and he loved his family and uh, he did everything he could for both. Your brother's remains were taken. For them just to throw him out or just put him in a hole with and not have a record of it, that's what I don't understand. Don't miss The Search for Sam, Monday on Fox 30 Action News at 10. He just deserves a lot better than this. We have learned the team has been sold. Wayne Weaver getting set to address the sale of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Action News is going to Illinois. This here is where it all started for Shad Khan. I gotta tell you, it was the best looking group of fans I've ever seen at a football game. They made us wait quite a while for that finance committee meeting to end here in New York City. Covering the sale of the Jaguars in Dallas, Texas, I'm Brent Martineau, Action News. It's official. The Jacksonville Jaguars have a new owner. The owners voted to approve Wayne Weaver's sale of the Jaguars to Mr. Khan. Every station had the news, but one station owned the story. Action News, first on the air with a historic announcement. It's obviously a banner day. First online and on your mobile phone with all the late-breaking details. As this new era in Jaguars history continues to unfold, stay with the station that has owned the story since day one. Fox 30 Action News. From southeast Georgia all the way to St. John's County, Barrel is knocking on our door. And wrapping right around the back side of this is a very impressive and intense band of rain. We were out at the beach just about an hour ago, and boy, was it intense. High gusting winds just whipping the sand around like you wouldn't believe. We have answers to your questions about where this storm is right now. If you read the Burrish blog, I talked about it a week before. We have you covered tonight. Devon's actually made landfall, and we said all along that would be the big story, the very heavy rainfall. They're dumping a lot of water on parts of our already waterlogged city. The rain just keeps coming down, and the waters continue to rise. I think it was worse than most people thought. Debbie may be gone, but we will be dealing with the storm's effects for a very long time. 